Seismic impacts on geothermal systems, the case of Old Faithful's post-Yellowstone earthquake activity, the ground beneath Yellowstone National Park is alive. Following a recent 4.9 magnitude earthquake centered just 12 kilometers northeast of Old Faithful Geyser, seismic sensors recorded dramatic fluctuations in subsurface pressure and hydrothermal discharge. Within hours, the intervals between Old Faithful's eruptions shortened significantly from its usual 92-minute cycle to just 68 minutes. Scientists from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, attribute this sudden increase in activity to the rearrangement of underground fractures. The quake likely opened new microfractures within the geyser's plumbing system, allowing superheated water to rise more freely toward the surface. Seismic tomography revealed subtle temperature increases and gas flux anomalies, suggesting that deeper magmatic fluids may now be feeding into the upper hydrothermal zone. Dr. Elena Navarro, a geothermal geophysicist, explains, even a moderate earthquake can drastically alter the plumbing of geysers. Old Faithful is more than a tourist attraction. It's a living barometer of the geothermal pulse beneath Yellowstone. These findings are raising important questions about the long-term stability of Yellowstone's hydrothermal systems and whether increasing seismicity could be a precursor to larger subsurface unrest. Lauia Volcano awakens again in a spectacular eruption. Half an ocean away on the big island of Hawaii, Kalauea has once again burst to life. After weeks of subtle inflation detected by GPS instruments, the volcano's summit caldera erupted suddenly, spewing fountains of lava over 80 meters high and illuminating the night sky in a crimson glow visible from Hilo. This eruption marks one of the most vigorous episodes since 2018. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported rapid magma ascent driven by accumulating pressure within the Halema Uma'u magma reservoir. Volcanic tremors intensified mere hours before the eruption, providing a critical but narrow warning window. Lava has filled portions of the caldera floor, forming new crustal layers and reshaping the crater's morphology. Scientists emphasize that while the eruption remains contained, continued deformation along the East Rift Zone suggests that magma may still be migrating underground, potentially leading to fissure eruptions in the coming days. Dr. Keone Akeo, a volcanologist monitoring the site, stated, Kalauia's behavior reminds us that volcanoes are dynamic systems. They breathe, they pause, and they awaken, often with little warning. What triggered Campi Flegre's new massive eruption? In southern Italy, the ancient and volatile Campi Flegre caldera, often called the Sleeping Giant of Naples, has violently awakened. 
Weeks of escalating seismic swarms and ground, uplift culminated in a catastrophic eruption that sent plumes of ash 15 kilometers into the atmosphere. Initial analyses suggest that the eruption was triggered by cumulative stress within the caldera's weakened crust. Satellite interferometry, INSAR data, revealed uplift exceeding 50 centimeters over just three months, indicating a massive influx of magma and gases from depths greater than seven kilometers. The final trigger may have been a magnitude 3.8 earthquake near Pozzuoli, which fractured the brittle crust and allowed magma to break through to the surface. This event is now under global scientific scrutiny. The eruption's geochemical signature shows unusually high sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide emissions, a sign of deep magma degassing. European researchers are already comparing this eruption to the 1538 Monte Nuovo event, which reshaped the entire landscape. Dr. Giovanni Ricci of Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, warned, Campi Flegre's activity is a stark reminder that supervolcanic systems do not die. They evolve silently until a critical pressure threshold is breached. Conclusion, Earth's Restless Engine. From Yellowstone's geysers trembling after distant quakes, to Kalawia's fiery resurgence, to Campi Flegre's explosive reawakening, the planet's geothermal systems are profoundly interconnected through seismic and magmatic forces. Each event serves as a reminder that Earth's crust is not static, but a living, shifting interface between deep internal energy and surface life. The study of these systems is more than scientific curiosity. It is vital for predicting hazards, protecting communities, and understanding the ever-changing dynamics of our restless planet.